how would you characterize, describe your own worldview? I think I call myself a social democrat. And I think that was my commitment. I was brought up in a social democrat family, and I go on with this. And I want to. Uh, no, liberalism has too many things in it. Uh, social democrat has obviously some the liberal ideals, mm -hmm. but. Uh, if you ask me about sort of a general term to describe mm -hmm. the which I would say, yeah, social democrat. That's what I... But there's not much social democracy anymore. No, I mean, no. What we see is that there was an attack. There was the heydays of social democracy after the war. And there were the, really the most successful years. And I think that what we see now is a a decline of sort of obviously of the of the organized labor mm -hmm. because of the nature of the, in the, the industry, the globalization and so on. Two hundred million people joined the workforce in the in cell world in, in countries that weren't integrated in global force, and we are now in 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 the midst of changes. So. Social democracy is challenged both by the neoliberals and by the people on the far left. And I, but yeah, I still think that the only sensible, the only sensible worldview in terms of socialism is, uh, is social democracy. I mean, and Scandinavia is, a th I think, Scandinavia. The Netherlands, when it was sort of what I think those are good places to look at. But why is, this, why is there this ongoing struggle um, for mankind to create a just society? Well, because just society is a good thing, so you try to bring a... I mean, I, I see all the reasons to bring a just society. Yes, but it's why is it so difficult to succeed? Oh, because there are people who lose by having a just society. They most many people, powerful people, will lose a great deal if there is a just society. The point is whether you have enough people who are with vested interest in justice. That's the problem. It's just the reverse. Why an injustice? It's very easy to explain. Why justice is hard to explain? Why people will be motivated to bring about justice? Enough people. And that's very hard. Actually, you don't have enough of them. Why not? Power is dispersed. I mean, to concentrate power is very hard. And in order to, when you concentrate power, you, con you gain lots of things that you don't want to share with others. So the people who gain power usually create oligarchies of certain kinds. And I think what used to be called the the iron law of the oligarchy, I think there is a great deal to say for it. And that's actually what you say even lots of egalitarian, uh, egalitarian parties and egalitarian ideologies, that once they got the power, they, their commitment is gone because the privilege is over, the power is there, it's concentrated, why to share it with others? <laughs>